Donkey of the Day for Tuesday, February 26th goes to New England Patriots owner Robert Kraft. Now, if you haven't heard, uh, Robert Kraft is being charged with first-degree solicitation of a prostitute. Robert was videotaped receiving oral and manual sex from a woman at a spa in Jupiter, Florida. Let's go to NBC News for the report, please. New England Patriots owner Robert Kraft at the airport in Boston joined by Tom Brady. Meantime in Florida, an arrest warrant was issued for the 77-year-old, charging Kraft with two counts of soliciting another to commit prostitution. If convicted, the billionaire, along with two dozen others who were part of this takedown, could be sentenced to a year in jail. White privilege is a very interesting thing. Uh, there, was no, there is no one on this planet who feels more invincible than a rich white man. Okay, Robert Kraft has a net worth of $6.6 billion. There's nothing he can't do. There's nothing he probably hasn't done. Now, let me explain to you my thought process, my mindset. First of all, I didn't really realize rubbing tugs were illegal. Okay, I thought getting a happy ending at a massage parlor was up to the discretion of the masseuse at the parlor. Now, it's not something you request, but if you know the code, if you know how to order off the secret menu at the massage parlor, then a rub and tug is there. Now, getting oral sex at a massage parlor, yes, that would immediately register as illegal in my mind because it's a massage parlor, not a brothel. But here's the thing. As a black man in America, and I can only speak for me, I'm not even going to generalize, the way my anxiety is set up, the way my fear of failure is set up, the way I am constantly looking over my shoulders, watching my back, waiting for the worst to happen, waiting for the, the, the sky to fall like Chicken Little, there's absolutely no way I would ever go into a massage parlor, or anywhere for that matter, and solicit prostitution, <laughs> okay? I am the guy who just feels, uh, who feels like just my luck. Just like Robert Kraft, I would get caught up in a human trafficking ring. And guess what? I would deserve it because I know better. But guess what? Robert Kraft knows better, too. But Robert Kraft doesn't care. Okay, why? Because he's a rich white male. What is a rule when you're a rich white male? What is a law when you're a rich white male? Okay, me as a black man, when it comes to those proverbial lines, I have to walk the straight and narrow. But not white men like Robert Kraft. Nope, they moonwalk all over those lines. Millie Rock all over those lines, okay? They dance over those lines the way Cardi B was dancing on that stage, okay? That's how he does all over that line because he has no fear of the consequences of his actions. Now, my question is why, okay? Why, when you are worth $6.6 billion, you are the owner of the New England Patriots, you are very high profile, you can't just pull up to these seedy-ass massage parlors chauffeured in Bentleys Asking for sex acts, all right? There's got to be a more discreet way for Robert Kraft, a billionaire, to get his rocks off. I mean, damn, Boston. Ladies of the 617, what the hell? Robert Kraft has helped deliver six championships to New England, and he can't get any sexual favors in Boston? Okay, what, what the hell is the point of Robert Kraft hanging around rappers if he can't, can't even get any groupie love? All right, Meek Mill don't got no extra thoughts he can share? Now, I don't know where 77-year-old single men go to get sex, okay? But I do know soliciting prostitution is illegal. And once again, the difference between being a black successful man and a white successful man is that smart, successful black men know it's certain things we can't even think of doing, and purposely breaking the law is one of them, all right? The rules are just different. And my paranoid ass already feels like the white man is out to get me, but when you are said white man, you can move however you want to move, all right? But my question, once again, is why? Robert Kraft, you are a cheap bastard. All right, you're a billionaire. You're worth more than a couple hundred dollar hand jobs. All right, when you have that kind of money, that kind of reputation, you have to pay to play the correct way. All right, spend some money on not getting caught. All right, get you a young girlfriend to spoil. Go buy a whole brothel. I'm just saying, when you are a billionaire, why are you out here partaking in us poor people pleasures? Robert and other rich white men, please, uh, you know, just, just, just give Robert Kraft the sweet sounds of the Hamiltons. Oh, now you are the donkey of the day. Come on, man. You're worth $6.6 billion and you're out here getting hand jobs for a couple hundred dollars. No. Come on. 